For the last many years, South Korean products have virtually flooded the Indian market. They are widely used by Indians who consider these products both cheap and best. Samsung, Hyundai and LG have now become household names in India, spread over large markets in both rural and urban societies. You might remember that Samsung had opened its biggest mobile manufacturing unit recently in Noida. Samsung employs over 70,000 people in India and is one of India's largest consumer goods companies with a turnover of over rupees 61,000 crores. These are the products in India. But I will take you to the places in South Korea where these products are made and how. Believe me, this is an interesting story of enthusiasm of a nation that is not more than the size of West Bengal in India but is competing with major countries of the world in terms of manufacturing with quality and care with best infrastructure and well-organized society. And now we have reached South Korea, the capital city Seoul and we are at the Incheon airport. We will show you that how these things, Samsung, Hyundai and all these things are made here in Korea. It took 7 hours flight from Delhi and we are in Seoul now. The South Korean capital is one of the best cities in the world. It attracts you at the very first glance and keeps you glued and makes you feel good. Strolling around the city, we reached Samsung's office. So now I am taking you to Samsung Digital City. This is actually the premises where Samsung's headquarters are housed. And from these premises only, Samsung controls its empire all over the world. But beyond that, the story of evolution and growth of Samsung is the story of South Koreans, you know, work culture, South Koreans' resilience, and how South Koreans can prove themselves one of the excellent, uh, you know, workers in the whole world and also entrepreneurs and strategists. The Samsung headquarters is a city in itself. This is called Samsung Digital City. The location is an hour's journey from Seoul. It is based in Suwon. These are the main towers of Samsung headquarters, the huge, gigantic building. People are inside round the clock with flexi-duty hours, but you will not see anyone on the road. The visit from the gate of Samsung to reaching the plant in itself is very exciting with world-class infrastructure strewn around. We are inside Samsung Digital City. This is actually the headquarter of Samsung Electronics. This is the place where Samsung Empire runs from and this is also center of innovation, major research of all. This whole scenario from Samsung campus thrilled me. A small country in Southeast Asia South Korea competes with countries like USA and gives a big competition to the American iPhones. South Korea is an Asian glory. The campus spread over a huge area looks like a toy city. Buildings, roads, pavements and everything at right place. No glitches in maintenance and environment. So serene. Our first post of venture inside Samsung headquarters became its innovation and incubation center. Actually, innovation is key to success for Samsung, a unique place for its own employees where they think of something new and work on these ideas on the expenses of Samsung itself. This is the reason why Samsung could motivate its employees and also garners confidence of consecutive governments of South Korea. And now, it is one of the biggest companies in the world in the field of electronics. It's an incubation center for Samsung employees to uh, bring their idea to life. So this place, many uh, small companies or startup has come up from this area, okay. from this place. So this place is like uh, uh, that Samsung employees can propose their ideas and there is a panel which select their ideas and then company support throughout the year for that, to bring that idea to the life. Meet Pankaj. He is from IT Kanpur and an employee of Samsung for a long time. He lives in South Korea. He presented his idea about a teaching help instrument, worked on that idea for a year in Samsung company. He was provided all the facilities inside Samsung for implementing that idea. And now, after developing it, he has opened his own company. Though his 
proximity to Samsung still continues. Samsung के अंदर एक innovation program है, बोलते हैं C Lab program, Creative Lab program. तो उसके अंतर्गत कोई भी employee जो अपना नया idea को लेके आगे बढ़ना चाहता है, उसको प्रोत्साहित किया जाता है. तो मुझे भी प्रोत्साहित किया गया तुम अपना idea लेके आओ और करो कुछ. तो मैंने propose किया एक similar solution. तो company को काफी अच्छा लगा. तो उन्होंने बोला कि एक साल इस पे कम काम करो कंपनी के अंदर रह कर तो मैंने एक साल कंपनी के अंदर रह के काम किया उस आइडिया के ऊपर इसी के ऊपर इसका एक डिफरेंट वर्जन था उस पे काम किया कंपनी बोला अच्छा है इसमें चांस तो दिख रहा है तो पूरा इवैल्यूएशन इवैल्यूएशन हो के मुझे मौका मिला गया तुम बाहर जाओ अपना काम खुद करो और हम इन्वेस्टमेंट करेंगे तुम्हारी कंपनी में बाहर जाओ मतलब बाहर कंपनी बनाओ अपना कंपनी बनाओ मतलब अपना कंपनी खोलो और इसमें हम लोग इन्वेस्ट करेंगे तो उन्होंने इन्वेस्ट किया फिर हम लोग दो फाउंडर एक कुरियन फाउंडर और एक मैं दोनों निकले और हमने हमने बाहर आकर दो लोग बाहर आकर टीम क्रिएट किए लोगों को हायर किया और आज हमारे पास 11 मेंबर्स हैं तो काम काफ़ी हो रहा है और हम लोग बहुत ही मतलब फास्ट तरीके से इसको डेवलप किए प्रोडक्शन भी कोरिया में ही हुआ है अभी इसका उसको कैसे और कॉस्ट रिडक्शन करना है इसमें क्या बिजनेस मॉडल आएगी स्कूल को कैसे टारगेट करना उनका नीड्स क्या है उसको बेटर अंडरस्टैंड करके कैसे प्रोडक्ट इम्प्रूव किया जाए वो सब काम हम लोग अभी कर रहे हैं This is how Samsung maintains loyalty of its workers and also creates chain of loyal sympathizers all over the world not directly associated but working in consonance with Samsung and Samsung keeps growing a unique management strategy a part of work culture that one who joins Samsung once is part of Samsung forever Samsung to bahut amazing company hai hmm. bahut hi amazing company hai hmm. मतलब इतना फास्ट ग्रोथ जो कोरिया का स्टोरी पढ़ते हैं आप उसमें सैमसंग का ह्यूज रोल है और कंपनी भी समय के हिसाब से बदल रही है पहले काफ़ी स्ट्रिक्ट था काफ़ी काम किया है दो हज़ार चार में जब आया था तो काफ़ी काम किया है बारह चौदह पंद्रह सोलह घंटे काम किया है अब जैसे जैसे मान लीजिए क्रिएटिव इकोनॉमी की तरफ झुका हो रहा है तो कंपनी भी समझ रही है कि भैया ऑफिस में रह के काम नहीं करना है पार्टनरशिप हुआ न्यू आइडियाज बेंच मार्किंग इसके लिए काफ़ी मतलब एक अपने आप को चेंज कर रही है कंपनी कल्चर को इम्प्लॉज भी अलग तरीके का हायर करती है पहले तो काफ़ी कोरियन इम्प्लॉज थे अब काफ़ी इंटरनेशनल भी हो गया इम्प्लॉज और नॉट ओनली इम्प्लॉज कंपनी जो है हर देश में काफ़ी कंट्रीज में इनोवेशन सेंटर्स खोल के उसको भी काफ़ी मतलब प्रॉपरली यूज करके टैलेंट को यूज करके प्रोडक्ट में काफ़ी इम्प्रूवमेंट ला रही है Let's take a peep inside Samsung Mobile Manufacturing Plant. It is completely automated. We saw no one in the factory, but the production goes on endlessly. It's a secret place and no mobile phones and cameras are allowed inside. For safety and quality check, it's divided between man and the machine. Machines are at the service of man. You can feel here in Samsung. Only 50 years, you know, 1969. and samsung has become one of the global players in electronics industry they are not only supporting many parts of uh, business all over the world or even other businesses but also they are one of the global partners of international olympics magnanimous history samsung is official sponsor of olympics since 1998 in mobile operations Here see the Samsung Mobile of 1998 with the Olympic torch given in Nagano in 2000 Samsung Mobile was the official mobile in Sydney Olympic 2 in 2002 Salt Lake in 2004 Athens you can see the size and shape of the mobiles also kept changing with time 2006 Torino 2008 Beijing 2010 Vancouver then it is London Sochi Rio de Janeiro and so on It also communicates history of mobile phones and Samsung who was the co-traveler in this journey around the world. Over the years we introduced various new like technologies, mm -hmm. right? Um and also partnered with like Armani or Bang and Olufsen to bring like more luxury high-end phones. Okay. Phone. Okay. Samsung's history is really inspiring and an eye-opener that proves that you don't need to be a big country to prosper. to grow and to contribute what you need to be is to be committed and consistent in policy and practice march 1st 1938 a young man of 29 years founded this company called samsung he had just 30 us dollars in his kitty it was opened as a grocery shop much before korean independence from japan samsung jo hai 1938 mein जिस समय जापान के कब्जे में ही था भारत कोरिया तो उस समय 1938 में एक यून बंग छल नाम के व्यक्ति थे यून बंग छल 
यून बंग छल तो उन्होंने उन्होंने इसको शुरू किया एक छोटी सी जैसे अपने यहाँ परचून की दुकान होती है तो उस प्रकार के का एक परचून परचून का दुकान के रूप में इसको खोला गया था जिसमें जो आम जनजीवन की जो चीज़ें होती हैं जैसे कि जैसे यहाँ पर सूखी मछलियाँ जब बहुत खाते हैं लोग जैसे वो देगू एक जगह है वहाँ का फेमस भी है तो उन्होंने सूखी मछलियाँ सेव जो होता है इनके यहाँ का उसको नंगुम बोलते हैं ये लोग कोरिया लोग कोरिया के लोग तो वो हो गया और कुछ जो नूडल्स वगैरह है उसका उन्होंने उसकी शुरुआत उन्होंने की थी उस दुकान से लेकिन 10 वर्षों में ही उन्नीस सौ अड़तीस में उन्होंने शुरू किया और 10 वर्षों में ही वो काफ़ी मतलब वो सफल हुआ In 1953, he opened Sugar Mills and Grain Import Company as South Korea was facing acute shortage of essential food items after Korean War. Samsung became successful in its endeavor and diversified in finance and manufacturing by the end of 1960. Three stars symbolize Samsung, that imply strong, big, and shining forever. It justified its name and became the biggest company by that time in Korea. In 1969, Samsung took over an old electronic company of South Korea and after that they never looked back. It became a consistent growth trajectory for Samsung. Its first product was black and white television. And in 1977, it made first color TV in Korea. Uh sahi mein jo vikas ka jo safar shuru hota hai wo 1960 उसको लेकर चलते हैं क्योंकि इस समय इन्होंने इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स की दुनिया में कदम रखा था सैमसंग ने इसके उसमें क्या हुआ था कि जैसे ये देगू अभी एक जगह है वहाँ उस देगू के पास कुमी देगू जा वाले रास्ते में है तो कुमी में अभी एक उस समय एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपनी हुआ करती थी उ, उनको इन्होंने टेक ओवर भी किया था और साथ में वहाँ से शुरुआत इन्होंने की थी और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स की दुनिया में इसके बाद इन्होंने टी जो है ब्लैक एंड वाइट टी बनाया वो बड़ा पॉपुलर हुआ सैमसंग का जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स में पहला प्रोडक्ट कोरिया में रहा जो सबसे ज़्यादा पॉपुलर और जिससे सबसे ज्यादा पैसा कमाया गया वो टीवी था सैमसंग फेल्ट नेशनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड डाइवर्सिफाइड इन पब्लिक सर्विसेज लाइक एजुकेशन कल्चर एंड हेल्थ बाय द एंड ऑफ सेवेंटीज सैमसंग फर्दर डाइवर्सिफाइड इन पेट्रोकेमिकल्स हेवी इंडस्ट्री अमंग अदर्स इट बिकेम सिंबल ऑफ नेशनल एस्पिरेशन टू ग्रो इन इट जम्प इन सेमी कंडक्टर इंडस्ट्री इन विच जपान एंड यूएसए व मेजर प्लेयर्स In 1987, Samsung established Advanced Institute of Technology to support its future ambitions. The founder passed away in 1987, and in 1988, a new leadership declared new ambitions and vision, and called second foundation in the history of its company. It faced the Asian crisis in 1997 and strengthened itself further. It also made first mobile phone that was named SS100 in 1988. It was the first mobile phone to be designed and manufactured in Korea. And now it is Samsung Galaxy 9. Samsung is overtaking even US now by unveiling first commercial 5G technology in mobile phones networking. Very few know that it is Samsung behind the success of Jio phones in India. And at the end of this Samsung story, let me take you to some Indian professionals working here. I met them when they were enjoying their dinner. For your information, Samsung provides food inside the plant and headquarters free of cost from all regions of the world. These are the people who are working in different sectors of Samsung company uh, based here in you know South Korea. So in Samsung is divided into many sectors in South Korea itself and they will tell you the story how they came here and how they are working here how they are enjoying the work india ke sath koi collaboration yahan ke network division ka ji india india mein jo jio ka network hai uska pura backbone samsung ka hi hai aur hum log jio project pe hi yahan pe kaam kar rahe hain bahut log nahi maloom hai ki samsung healthcare mein bhi hai hame x-ray machine ct scan and mri machine all three we are making it here 5g jo nayi technology aa rahi hai aur इमरजेंसी नेटवर्क के लिए मिशन क्रिटिकल नेटवर्क के लिए टेक्नोलॉजी आ रही है उस पर काम कर रहा हूँ नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर लंच इट्स प्योर कुरियर डेलिकेसी अकॉर्डिंग टू कुरियन टेस्ट स्नो फॉल ऑल ओवर वेन आई एम इन सोल बट इट इज टाइम फॉर लंच एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कोरियन रेस्टोरेंट फॉर हैविंग लंच इट इज अंडरस्टूड दैट कोरियन यू नो फूड इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी टेस्टी एंड इट हैज अ वेरी डिफरेंट फ्लेवर so we are going in this korean restaurant 
Uh, so this is the table for lunch. <laughs> and uh, there are so many you know, dishes to eat. <laughs> uh, it is uh, not very easy to explain whatever is there. But uh, it is all eatable, they are very delicious thing. So we should eat, uh, we should uh, have this soup now. Okay. So, soup. Mm. Very delicious. Oh, yeah, okay. thank you so much. Let's now move to another destination, and that is of another Korean conglomerate and manufacturing giant. Guess who? The Hyundai. Another giant of Korea. When we reached there, it was snowing, but it was normal for Koreans. We are inside Hyundai car studio and we will see the different car products, the ancillaries and also their research, innovation and development practices. Everyone in India knows Santro. It's a Hyundai product. So from budget cars like Santro, they are into luxury cars too, to attract the richest in the world. Hyundai has a lot of cars which do really well in Indian market, but some prime examples would be the Hyundai Creta and the very famous Hyundai Santro. We have the Grand i10, Elite i20 and of course the Tucson. See this car, Palisade, especially made for America, budget $30,000. This car studio is like a museum where people come for basic understanding about Hyundai. Here different cars are showcased. You can also have an understanding of the car structure. See this inverted car. Agar aap gaadi ko ultege, to yehi gaadi ka niche ka roop hai. Aur bilkul aisa hi, isme koi parda nahi. There is no, there is no covering on this. There is no covering. To yahan engine hai, aur uske baad. ये पाइप है इससे देखते हैं आप और इसी से निकलता है धुआं एग्जॉस्ट सो इट्स लाइक दैट युडाइस फर्स्ट कार वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 1968 एंड इट वाज मेड फॉर कोटिना इन कोलैबोरेशन विद अमेरिकन फोर्ड इट्स फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल कार वाज कॉल्ड पोनी एंड इट एक्सेल्ड इन कनाडा नाउ युडाइस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कार सप्लायर टू कनाडा However, it sold its first car in US market in 1986, the XL, and from there onwards, there was no looking back for Hyundai. It now makes 1.6 million cars annually and employs around 75,000 people from around the world. These cars are sold in 193 countries all over the world. There are 6 research and development centers in Korea, China, Japan, and India. But it is interesting to know that cars in all these different countries are not same. A consumer in India uh. wants a different car from uh. a consumer in Korea or a consumer in America. Uh. So we need to, unless you respond to the market in a way it wants you to respond, mm. you won't be able to sell a car. Like uh, these depend yeah. on uh, road conditions. The of course, uh. road conditions, consumer behavior, and. Uh, what actually the customer wants in uh. terms of the design of the car in terms of the pricing of the car in terms of the quality of the car uh. in terms of the equipment which goes into the car uh. it is all totally market relevant one of the main reasons is the localization strategy uh, i think india could be a wonderful example for this okay um actually ever since hyundai motor began its production in india in 1998 we have been focused on the localization strategy so we um we have been focused on producing uh the this kind of um specifically tailored vehicles for indian customers indeed to satisfy such huge and diverse market there is an excellent work culture in hyundai company or working for hyundai is totally different from working for any company in india mm. so some noticeable changes that you can see mainly is the culture mm. so the work culture is very much based on korean history mm. and uh, hyundai's history to mm. to say and a uh, lot of it involves uh, mutual respect between people mm. no discrimination in one's background mm. and uh, a lot of emphasis on hierarchy in the system 
Now Hyundai is planning to catch up to the next level and want to diversify from individual customers to car sharing models. They have signed MOU with Rev in India for facilitating car sharing and this model might be replicated in other countries too. Today we aim to um, we aim to uh, uh, we aim to get next level so we want to become um, smart mobility solutions provider as your first mover you know as, as India is really um, important market to us we always um, uh, studies and analyze uh, mm. uh, for the market situation mm. Mm. and we realized that there is a lot of potential in Indian markets uh, to be expanded to mm. um, mobility service area. Mm. So that's why recently, recently we um, uh, made a MOU with a REV, a uh, car sharing company in India. Then we have a plan to uh, make uh, new mobility service for Indian customers. To get the feel of the manufacturing of cars, I will now take you to Ulzan, a few hours high speed train drive from Seoul. So this is the high speed train from uh, Seoul to Ulsan. We will go by this train and there in Ulsan we will go to Hyundai Motors company. It's a fantastic journey from Seoul to Ulsan by this high speed train. And do you know that this high speed train has also been manufactured by Hyundai? हम इस हाई स्पीड ट्रेन से सियोल से उल्सान की यात्रा कर रहे हैं उल्सान एक बड़ा केंद्र है हुंडई मोटर्स का जहां हुंडई मोटर्स की जहाज रानी का निर्माण होता है हुंडई मोटर्स की गाड़ियों की फैक्ट्री वहां है सियोल में हुंडई मोटर्स का हेड क्वार्टर तो है लेकिन इसका साम्राज्य दक्षिण कोरिया में बहुत जगहों पर फैला हुआ है और खास बात यह है कि जिस हाई स्पीड ट्रेन से हम जा रहे हैं इस हाई स्पीड ट्रेन का भी निर्माण हुंडई की एनसीलियरी कंपनी है उसी ने किया है हुंडई का ही एक सिस्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उसने इस हाई स्पीड ट्रेन के इंजन से लेकर इसके आंतरिक सज्जा इसके बाहरी इसके डिब्बे सभी का निर्माण हुंडई मोटर्स ने किया है मतलब हुंडई मोटर्स सभी जगहों पे दक्षिण कोरिया में फैला हुआ है जहाज रानी से लेकर गाड़ियाँ और उसके बाद रेलगाड़ियाँ हाई स्पीड ट्रेन Ulsan is an industrial city of South Korea. From Ulsan train station, we reached straight to Hyundai manufacturing plant. So you saw the car studio in Seoul, but don't be disappointed. I am going to take you inside the car manufacturing plant of Hyundai. And this is the main car manufacturing plant of Hyundai. This is the oldest car manufacturing plant of Hyundai. And also this is the biggest manufacturing car plant of Hyundai. Here all types of cars are manufactured, uh, be it electric car, be it petrol, diesel or even gas car. All cars are manufactured here and also the cars are shipped to different countries of the world from here also. Once we are in, let's take a peep inside the manufacturing process though it is kept quite secret. Everything here is automated in bits and pieces. And finally, you get a fully packed car with all its gadgets. We are deep inside Hyundai car manufacturing plant in Ulsan. And you can see behind me this is a ship. Through these ships, cars are sent to other countries, exported to other countries. And it is said that 50,000 cars can be shipped in one ship. And Hyundai is also considered to be fifth largest car manufacturing company in the whole world. And now we are going to the point from where manufactured cars are delivered. Yulsan is located near the Sea of Japan that is called East Sea that helps in its transportation. Actually Hyundai had constructed largest shipyard here as also it was in construction business that was established in 1947 by Chung Joo Yoon after Korea's liberation from Japan. He named Hyundai that means modernity in Korean language. Ulsan plants and as you can see uh, there are uh, huge ships uh, for shipments uh, and uh, each, each ship can bring 50,000 mid-sized cars just like Elantra over there. 
and some of some of ships are uh, some of ships belong to Hyundai Motor Group, and some of are not. They are from different um, other companies. Chung Yoo Jung was born in North Korea in a farmer's family. In 1934, he started his rice store, but Japanese forcibly closed it. But the obstruction by Japanese became blessing in disguise. After liberation of South Korea, he became a name to reckon with in South Korea and worked closely with Korean government. After division of Korea, he chose to live in South Korea rather than going back to his native place in North Korea. New thinking, new possibilities. Though this is the slogan of Hyundai, but be it Samsung, LG or any other company or even the people or society of South Korea, they are all living in the same developmental mindset. And that is why South Korea has attained a height in development at par with Europeans or Americans. Actually, we Indians or any other developing countries should learn from this lifestyle, attitude, mindset and enterprising capacity of South Koreans. That's all in this special report from Ulsan and Seoul of South Korea. With Karna Person Suresh, I am Achilles Suman.